course, I'm your host, Sean Anthony, and right now it is a pleasure to have Ohio's own Joe Boy in the building. Joe Boy, what's poppin', man? Oh, really? What's well, going welcome, on? Welcome, man. So with you? How you been, man? I've been good, man. How you? I'm great, man. First of all, congratulations with everything that's popping off with you, man. You got a really solid project, like I was just telling you. Oh, really? Is 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 really making some noise, man? No, facts. Appreciate How that. How does it feel, man? Being a, being a young man from Cleveland, Ohio, and starting to see the success within the industry. Man, this shit, this shit, this shit really funny, man. Like yeah. on this side of things, like where you just like the way I see everything now, like because I'm in the industry, industry. Right. So it's like when you see how all this shit is, it was like, damn. Like, you know, nigga dreamed of this moment since nigga was a kid type shit. What's the biggest thing that you, like, noticed being on this side, you know, that that, that you didn't, wasn't privy to prior to blowing up? That's just how fake this shit is. Like, this shit, <laughs> this shit. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. These niggas characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. Free bands, man. How did you connect with Future? You know what I'm saying? And how did that relationship flourish into what it is to being signed to his label? Oh, um, I said I said I linked with him back in the day, like 2011 and shit. But you know, the relationship just grew from just like you know, it really just always been on some brother shit. It was more so. It really don't even be about the music for real, for real. Like this shit deeper than that. So you said yeah. that so casual, man. Future is a heavyweight in the game. Yeah, not facts. not not everybody can just link up with Future. Exactly. Like how did that play get set up? You know, was it was it through a mutual relationship? Hard, hard work, man. Yeah. Hard work, man. You know, but this shit just like it. It be crazy to me too, though. Like. Like sometimes when you really think about it like that, and that's future. Cause I see like like the way how everybody else look at him. Right. I'm like, damn, this nigga really is like God to everybody, yeah. like for real though. Yeah. Like, He's a trendsetter, man, yeah. and, and you're signed with him. What you know, staying on future real quick. What what are some of the, the lessons that he's imparted in you and shared with you about this industry, about the game, and all of that? It never stop. Yeah, work hard. You gotta, you know, stay in the studio. Stay in the studio. Stay in the studio. Yeah. That takes a level of discipline, you know. Do you have a, a good core of people around you to keep you, you know? Like, come on, let's go back to the yeah, studio. Yeah, for sure. Stay in the no, studio. they be on my ass. Hell yeah. Okay. okay. Hell yeah, for sure. How, how how would you compare, you know, um, now to you know maybe a year ago or even back to 2020? See, see, just now it's like a nigga, a nigga really seeing like. <clears throat> different level of results like nigga always saw results and shit like this shit always was big and it, it get bigger and bigger every time i do something but it's just like now i just hit the biggest like so it's like when a nigga drop an album you go number three like in the world like i'm talking about nigga my shit i'm streaming more than adele like shit like that like you'd be like damn i'm really that nigga like for real so it just the, the the success is just different. It hit different now, like, and then you can just tell, like, the way everybody fucking with the music, like, they really love the music now, mm -hmm. like, like people always love my music, but it's like more people is like really like okay, they really tapping in and really listening. See, before like I felt like niggas are just pick and choose, and like you know a nigga got them standout records and certain shit that niggas be, but now I feel like niggas really tapping in and really seeing yeah. what a nigga here for. You know for, the like. thing that I really, that resonated with me listening to your music and even going back to Demons Are Us and some of your older projects, um, you have a unique sound. Your, your voice, it, it, it stands out from all the others because that's one thing yeah. that you kind of hear is a lot of, uh, you know, copycats and stuff like that, but you carved out your own lane, man. Yeah. How did you tap into that that particular style and the way that you use your voice on your records? Yeah, that shit, it just comes so naturally. Like, like you know, I've been I've been mastering my craft since I was like, you know, a kid for real. Like, especially like, I always rap this way. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's just it's just now I just I got it all the way mastered. I always had a hard ass cadence. I always was like that. Like. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a nigga really know how to do it now. Yeah. So, it's shit different. Um, I was watching uh, some, some other interviews that you've done. You talked about uh, some anger issues that you had in the past <laughs> and you learned how to deal with it. You, you know, uh, I, I kind of want to know, like, now, you know, uh, you, you've been through some adversity. You, you've triumphed. You've come back from that. Uh, how are you able to deal with anger now, or have you dealt with it? Yeah, I shit, I, 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 I'm really like, I improved so much on like my anger, like, like I, I swear to God, just even just like some shit earlier, like I missed my flight as bad as I want to, goddamn, just 
It's like fuck all that shit and just leave and just not come and just not do it like nigga right. just and I want to goddamn throw water bottles at the lady and do whatever the fuck I want to do but I just be having to tell myself like you can't do that mm -hmm. like it'd be a lot of situations I'd be like man I really want to do this but I can't do that like what what do you recognize like what triggers you like what yeah, are some of the triggers it, 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 a lot of shit trick like it's like right. name, name, name two things. Man. One or two things. <laughs> not, not missing your flight, but like something, you know, in your in your personal. Man, what triggered me the uh, what y'all think? Hey, what you think triggered me the most? What, what, what sets them off zero to sixty real quick? <laughs> <laughs> they, say, they say everything real fragile. Yeah, right. Talk about these no fragile. Liquor. <laughs> no liquor, okay. No, no, no other things that really liquor. If you say, no, I'm not stopping at the liquor store. I'm not stopping at the liquor store. So, how are you able to? <laughs> you recognize, they recognize it. You know, how, how are you able to? tame that down you know what I'm saying now that you you're a public figure now man yeah, exactly. anything you say or do can go yeah, can go sure. viral and I and I and I I noticed that like I got that figured out now like you know I can't do that because and shit that wrong wrong goddamn like you said that shit could change a nigga whole life in the worst way yeah like one second like I know how fast a nigga life will change like yeah. shit so it's like I really stop and think before I do shit now instead of just Right. Um, at what point did you realize, like, yo, I, I really made it. I'm, I'm in this industry. I'm, I'm, in, I'm an artist. You know, past the, the, the record deal. You know what I'm saying? Past you, your, some of your music going viral yeah, and sure. stuff. Uh, when I was in Diddy House. Where? At Diddy House. Oh. Yeah. When I came he to Diddy just, House. Hold on, he just stunned it. He just stunned <laughs> real quick. When I was at Diddy's house. Diddy's yeah, house. And that one which one? Now. Which which crib? The one in LA. Okay, okay. Yeah. But but what happened there? Um shit, he had me pull up and shit. And then like the video, the video actually is still on my Instagram and shit. And they motherfucking um you know, he be doing the thing where he be having the aux court and shit. You know, he be having the little parties at his house. He let everybody get the aux court and shit. He made me get on the aux and shit. Get on the what? On the aux court, play my song. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. That's, okay. Why I, that's why I previewed song, the Walk Down. What songs did you play for him? Walk Down. That was before Walk Down even came out. Oh, I really? played that motherfucker in Diddy House. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that was going <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I got the video on my Instagram still. That's but that cool. one I realized, I'm like, man, what the fuck? Right. Like, you really sit and look at like, man, I mean, You took it in. Like, but you crazy. know, man, listen, man, let me tell you, sometimes you got to do that. You know, we, we get caught up in, in our our day to day lives. You know what I'm saying? That sometimes we, we you know, kind of take for granted all the hard work and everything that we accomplished that you got to sit back and, and and take it all in, man, and enjoy your flowers, man. You oh, come from, from a long way, man. You know, I heard a little bit about your story coming up in Cleveland. You know, this is Ohio, man. Yeah, so we, yeah, we all so. connect in some way, shape, or form exactly. as far as Ohio. Um, to talk about, you know, some of the challenges you had to overcome growing up in Cleveland, man. Like, what was it like for you, you know, growing up in, in Cleveland and, and overcoming those obstacles? Yeah, like, like, even just, like, the situation of, like, with a nigga going to jail and shit like that. Like, a nigga, nigga been dealing with troubles and shit my whole life type shit. But I say, like, that was definitely my biggest obstacle. Because, like, shit, I was so close to making a rapper. Then nigga gotta get sat down. And right. then gotta, shit, nigga gotta come home and do the shit all over again. Like, a nigga had to start all over. For real, for real. So did like, that change you, your, 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 your perspective? Like, when you got out, did you, did you immediately move differently or did you had to gradually you know uh transition yeah i ain't gonna say i immediately moved different hell no okay so nick got out i was like wait fried i was still fried when i came home for real but it was like a it was a transition for sure a nigga <laughs> i definitely ain't get out and just start that shit was a process right and it still is yeah. um it's just now starting to get better for real for real really yeah that's good, man. You got a lot of people pulling for you, man. For sure. You got a lot of people pulling for you, man. I am. Um, out of all the, the artists you met, like you said, Diddy told you to pull up. You signed to Future. You stunned it real heavy and posted a picture with you and Drake. What, what was some of the, uh, the best advice that st stands out to you right now uh, from any particular artist in the game? Because, you know, a lot of game don't, 
don't be scared to new up and coming artists. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to learn that sh stuff trial and error. But what was some? The shit Pluto told me. Just stay in the studio. Yeah. Be consistent. Um, that's the that's the best advice. Uh, niggas like niggas be giving you advice, but it'd be like you know some shit. You know I don't know I don't really like. Don't listen apply. to too many different like you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Sir, because uh, sir, artists, I don't, I don't know. I gotta look at you a certain type of way for me to really like. Take take any advice from you? Yeah, because I mean, some of these rappers, I don't take them serious. Like, right. A lot of rap, you don't know like what, like niggas don't be giving you the right advice a lot of the times. Mm. Niggas really be telling you to do dumb shit and like, you know. That's crazy. What 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 what's an example of something somebody told you that was? Good man. <laughs> you don't want to say it here. Okay. Um, <laughs> what, what are you what are you trying to get out of this game you know uh, how long do you see you, you rapping or do you uh, you want to create a, a, a label start signing other artists I already did that I've been yeah. doing that yeah hell yeah What's that's talking? already been like like RBMG rubber and money game that's my record label and shit okay like I had a real imprint and we really got like shit going on for real so it's just like you know nigga want to be executive like more it's deeper than being an artist like, you know, this is just the kickstart to everything. Mm -hmm. You know, so a nigga gotta just do this. I gotta do my part first so everything else can make sense. Right. You feel me? But yeah, nigga, businesses, all type of shit. Like, how are you able to, to balance with social media? You know, social media is a facade. You know, it's a lot of, uh, um, you know, performance and stuff, you know, going on with that. Uh, how are you able to navigate with social media between reality and the internet? Yeah, like, I mean, you know, I be I, I I know how this shit is for real. Like I know, like I sit and watch the cap, and I you know I I know what's what and shit like that. Cause a nigga really on this side of things. So mm. you know I don't take social media serious for real. You know social media fun though. <laughs> it's fun as fuck. Shit hilarious. But you know nigga can't take that shit too serious. How uh, uh, how are you able to? remain disciplined with, with other celebrities or what have you uh, mention your name or what in social media or um, you know on a record or anything like that like you saying like in a negative way in any kind of way or like how do I oh no shit if it's love it's love right hell yeah for sure but like negative I don't really I don't really have no you know you don't, you, you're I not don't even entertaining with, it yeah no I don't, I don't like deal with like Rap problems for real. Right. Nigga had like some little sh that shit, but I don't get into that. Like I don't. That's not what I want to do. Cause you've dealt with some real life stuff. Yeah. So I don't. I don't. That's not what I want to do. Right. For sure. That's good, man. Um, as far as promoting music, you know, how important is the DJ now? You know, because you have direct connection to your fans, you can put music out anytime yeah. you want directly. But you know, the shit is different now. Like. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, the DJ, of course, the DJ is always going to be important as fuck. Like, definitely you can't shit. You can't go outside without the DJ has to play the music if you go in a club. Like, it's, like we, you know, so it's, it's very necessary. Like, the DJ is very important. But it's the way that, I swear to God, like, down there, we were talking about this shit yesterday. Like, shit, like, how, how, the, how the game has changed. Like, when I was talking to Joe Budden and shit, we was just talking about, like, how we got the internet nowadays and how niggas like him didn't. Right. Like so, it's like this shit just it's a different component. It just make it so easy. When well, you got Instagram, you can shit the whole world. Like you know, nigga, go viral on the internet. Like your song gonna blow up on the internet before it's like back in the day. A DJ gotta break your record in the club and shit right. for your shit to get popping. Nowadays, nigga, they put that shit on the internet. Nigga, that shit spread like wildfire. It's over with. But you still see the importance of having. Yeah, you the DJ. still got. Uh, you definitely got. Uh, of course, because they still got to spin the shit. Right, right. So, what, what, what are you, what, what's up next for you, man? Your album's doing really well. Um, oh, who's the old white lady in the I, I'll do a video, uh, man. She out here. <laughs> she in Columbus? Yeah, that's where she from. I pulled up to her house in Columbus. Say word. Dead ass. I, she was, she went viral on Instagram, Gangsta Gill. She was going viral on Instagram. I seen. I posted a picture of her on my page. And they commented on my shit, Sus and then I DM'd her, and then I found out <laughs> you that you slid in her DMs. No, no, you on some bullshit. <laughs> just clowning, no, man. no, fucking um, <laughs> we was DMing and shit, and I was like talking to her nephew and shit though, and then 
I found out they was from Columbus. I'm like, man, what? Y'all from Columbus? Right. I'm about to fly up there. Uh, and you uh, met up with her? I came up here. Yeah, hell yeah. And, and you pulled the production went, crew? Went to their house. Hell yeah, got my cameraman, went to their house. That whole video was in her house. That's crazy, hell man. Yeah. She was really getting lit like that. Hell yeah, she fired. <laughs> hell yeah. She about to come outside with me tonight, man. Say word. And they got her booked at the club. That's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, so how, 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 how connected are you to Columbus, man? Love Columbus. Yeah. I let her fuck out Columbus. For sure. You know, Col Columbus one of my top streaming cities, like, Mm. For sure, Columbus up there. So you know your show gonna be kind of crazy tonight. That is gonna be turned for sure. Um, people, a lot of people don't know, man, that aren't from Ohio. A lot of times they think everything is the same. Cincinnati, and I be trying to tell folks that that are from out of out of town. Cleveland ain't Columbus. Columbus ain't Cincinnati. Cincinnati ain't Cleveland, and vice versa. Yeah, no, Explain so. to the folks the difference between Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati. And then shout out to the other cities, Dayton, I mean, Akron, too. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain that, though. Like, how we different? Like, I mean, I don't know. Shit, we Cleveland. And, I can't <laughs> and they Cincinnati. Shit, I mean, I don't know. We all, like, at the end of the day, we all the same people, same type of people, like, you know, so I can't say, like, what's really different about it. Mm -hmm. You know, we just, mm -hmm. Cool, man. Any uh, upcoming projects, man, you want to promote and give us something exclusive that oh, we really? can look out for? Oh, really? Oh, really? Big Oh, really? Streaming right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Man, this listen, I appreciate on, you uh, taking out the time, man, before you had to slide out no, for your performance, you man. Me, man. For sure. Anytime you're Columbus, man. Holla at us, man. We here. Urban One, man. We got you. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir, man.